Damn, Kyle, you going off. Oh, hold on. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Cam back with another YouTube video, and today we're gonna be checking out students hate Trump SOTU quotes until hearing they're from 2020 Democrat uh, candidates. Ooh. Um, for the video starts, man, smash the like button right now, subscribe if you're new, and let's get right into this video, man. What quotes were uh, misconstrued? Uh, let's let's get it, bro. And uh, before the video starts, smash the like button right now. Subscribe if you're new. Hold on, my thing tripping. Du -du 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 -du. Okay, I, I, I think I fixed it. Let's get it, bro. Sorry, y'all. What if I told you all these quotes are actually 2020 Democratic candidates quotes? Oh. I'm Kevin Phillips with Campus Reform. This week, President Trump is giving- This is gonna be so good. I'm ready. Let's go. His fourth State of the Union address. I'm in Washington, D.C. getting college students' opinions on quotes from that address. But what they don't know is that all the quotes are actually from 2020 Democratic candidates for president. Will that change their mind? Let's find out. The White House released a, an early transcript of the State of the Union. Going to get your reaction to a few of the more controversial quotes. Okay. Talking to black voters, trying to win their support, saying, quote, the other side is going to put y'all back in chains. Uh, what do you think of that one? That's inappropriate. Eight. Eight, no. Ain't no effing way. No. I, no. Does, does this say Joe freaking Biden at the bottom, bro? Ain't no way he said that. Ain't no way he said that. I gotta, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's only the first one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. And quote, the other side is going to put y'all back in chains. Uh, what do you think of that one? That's inappropriate. That should not be spoken like that. <laughs> I mean, I think that's just flat out racist. Nah, that's pretty horrendous. We should get a new president, probably. We okay. shouldn't have like someone like that as like a role model for kids. I don't think anyone is trying to do that. Talking about North Korea, this administration's success will be judged on whether we can eliminate North Korea's nuclear weapons and verify they're gone once and for all. Well, um, that sounds very threatening, um, as if we're going to be executing him completely. That it's warmongering, and I also think that there's oh other gosh. things to focus on with North Korea than just nuclear weapons. I think it would be warmongering, but also it's just like a part of his rhetoric to like assert dominance and like assert American exceptionalism, things like that. I so can't wait to see It doesn't really is. surprise me that he says something like that. Knowing him, he's very like irrational. And, yeah. I'd say slightly inaccurate. Next up, talking about inner city violence and gun violence, saying, quote, those kids think they're going to get killed anyway because all their friends are getting killed. They just don't have any long-term focus or anything. It's a joke to have a gun. It's a joke to pull the trigger to them. Yeah, so, I mean, he's saying that because these are communities of people of color. It's just, it's not even, it's not even veiled racism. It's just racism. That's flat out ridiculous and very just not appropriate language, I feel like. Oh, what? <laughs> well, I think that's pretty um, unrealistic. To kind of put all the blame for gun violence wow. on those kids and not the people who are manufacturing them and the people who are selling I'm, them is I'm reacting uh, to the an quotes. issue in and of itself. I feel like that's really belittling to the people in those uh, areas to say, oh, they don't care, when there are many people who are trying to better their situation. Next up, talking about Israel-Palestine, obviously hot button issue for a lot of people. Quote, uh, when Palestine and Hamas put rocket launchers next to hospitals and schools, they're using civilians to protect their military. I believe Israel has a right at that point to defend itself. What's your take? Uh, I think he needs to use more peaceful language, and I think it needs to be taken care of in a more peaceful, diplomatic way. I'm very pacifist, so I really don't support war, so I don't support any of that at all. Using that kind of language is very charged. He has Israel all messed up. I mean, and, and a lot of people do, but him especially. I mean, Israel isn't the one that we should be backing at all. What if I told you all these quotes are actually 2020 Democratic candidates' there we go. quotes? Oh, I would believe you. <laughs> they are. Interesting. Is that surprising? Uh, mm, yeah. These are actually all quotes from Democratic candidates in oh, 2020. Oh, interesting. What Fun. do you think of that? Um, I don't know. What if I told you these are actually all quotes? It's honestly really crazy to think about, man. 
from Joe Biden, Elizabeth oh, Warren, really? and other Democrat candidates. Who said the, who said the, um, the chains one? Joe Biden. Joe Biden said that. Yeah. I did not know that they said that. The in chains one, uh, it makes more sense in that context now. Um, and whoever said that, like that is uh, concerning and not something so Joe Biden. agree with. Not shocking. Oh, it's our president. Oh my gosh, that's our president. Holy. I don't know what to think right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you surprised by that, by the quotes? What's your take on that? Yeah. I think that... I actually am. I actually am. I'm actually really surprised, actually. Like, Joe said some crazy stuff. <laughs> but, bro. Um, everybody kind of... Every, I feel like everyone's a hypocrite at some point, a little bit. We label, like, who has these thoughts. And, like, if you're a Democrat, you should think this way. And, like, if you're a Republican, you think a certain way. Um... But I think sometimes there are overlapping beliefs that we kind of overlook. But I think that initially I'm like, oh, he said it. Like, let me find something bad about it. So, yeah, I think that is fair. Twitter informs a lot of my political decisions. I mean, Twitter informs a lot of my decisions, period. Twitter is great. I love Twitter. But it's definitely radicalized me to the left a lot more than I think that I would. I mean, it's all stuff that we kind of associate with the other side, at least. From my understanding, again, the school is mostly liberal. Yeah, I think often some people would look at what you just said and say, like, oh, my candidate didn't say that, or, you know, like, they would never have done that in the past. But I think that, like, everyone's opinions change, and, like, everybody says questionable things now and then, and I think that um, it's beneficial to accept that. I think people are very like, okay, if it's what this person is saying, I'm going to find a way to make it bad. And if it's someone that I want to support, then maybe I can find a way to make it sound good. Dang, that was lucky facts right there. Say that one more time. I'm going to find a way to make it bad. And if it's okay, if it's what this person is saying, I'm going to find a way to make it bad. And if it's someone that I want to that, that fact. That was a fact support then maybe i can find a way to make it sound good that's so true bro oh well hello there i'm kappa phillips with campus reform thanks so much for watching if you want to join our team we're always looking for new investigators correspondents and tipsters click right here to learn more about that if you want to donate to help us make more videos like the one you just saw click that button there and if you want to be among the first person to see all of our new content click that subscribe button right over there wow bro that was honestly crazy bro i'm still sh i'm still shook on it um Twitter informs a lot of my decisions. Thanks, champ. We can rest. We can all rest easy now. I was just thinking that, bro. I was like, bro gets everything from Twitter. Um, okay, that's the <laughs> bro said we can rest easy now, bro. He's stupid. Uh, that's the end of the video, bro. If you enjoyed, it, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below how'd you feel about uh, these quotes, man. Um, when did you hear them? Did you? Did you? What did you think when you heard these quotes, man? Oh, wow. Um, but yeah, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new because we're on the road to 70,000 subscribers, bro. Let's get there. And I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.